Alright, so, thought I'd create a behind the video, behind the scenes, sorry, behind the scenes video of my last stop motion I created, Lego Life. Um, yeah, I know a lot of my videos can be a little cheesy, sound quality can be better sometimes, and then sometimes it can be a little worse than the last video, and sometimes it can be better again, but it's all in experimenting and trying to find what's best, as I'm still working on getting new, new equipment and I also just recently got lenses lens, camera lens that actually works on my phone so we'll see how that goes right now I'm using my tablet because hey, uh, I haven't been working on a stop motion yet lately because my phone screen cracked so I decided to replace my own phone screen and then while doing so I broke the power flex cable which turns on the phone so that should be in by tomorrow or the day after I, I ordered off eBay once that gets fixed, I'll be working on another stop motion because the phone's camera is better than the tablet's camera. Anyways, here's a look at kind of what the whole set looks like in a, as a whole right now. Uh, still working on it. It will be bigger. Just recently got this actually today. So my next scene will actually probably be a uh, kind of a uh, beach scene. Just recently got a beach set starting starter kit here. So... That will go along with it. This here, this guy, a few carriages just laying around. This here, these guys came from different sets, but <clears throat> that will be for the next scene. I did clean up a little bit over here because if you've seen in the background video, there's some kind of Lego over here that I just kind of used extras to kind of make fill in the uh, gap so you don't see a table or anything like that. Try to make it seem as authentic as possible. Like you're actually in the world, like looking like this. You don't really see any table or anything like that. So it makes you feel kind of in the actual Lego world. These here are what I use for the sky. Just kind of insulated um, blue padded walls kind of thing there. This actually used to be my jam room. And I used to have a lot of guitars and amps and all that in it. And then I switched out, moved my guitars... Uh, upstairs and all my lego stuff down here still have two guitars here that are kind of broken down so i just left them there on the hooks there that's why they have all this these blue walls to kind of be soundproofing but i took advantage of that to be sky in the lego world so <clears throat> overall i kind of use these to fill in the gaps i know a lot of mountains in the background a lot but Hopefully I'll turn out better later on as I keep collecting more Lego. And I'll be able to make things look a little more realistic. I'd like to get some more road base plates and whatnot here too. Extend. I'd like to get another extended table. I had the option to get a bigger table but my parents may be needing that at some point And I wouldn't want to have to clean everything up in the middle of a stop motion. So I think what I'll do is uh, get myself another table and extend on top of this one. Or add on to this one. Kind of like what a lot of those other Lego people do that like to build the big cities and whatnot. Because I would like to get a city going too at some point, but you know that will come in time. So yep, yeah, this is the kind of a what behind the scenes are of the Lego life kind of stop motion I did here. Uh, should be I would like to continue Lego Pursuit too as well, but I also am going to be trying to work on this Lego beach scenery here, which will include. A base plate I just got recently, actually today from my birthday celebration. So yeah, more Lego videos coming soon. Thanks.